Well, an incredible woman who lives in an Indianapolis senior community now has a school named after her. Rich and I went to Hammond today with this education pioneer who became the city's first black teacher. She had that distinction more than 60 years ago. The 85 year old woman cutting the ribbon taught at Maywood Elementary for more than 40 years, mostly first grade. The school now has her name and a new mascot, the Annie Burns Hicks Elementary Bulldogs. It's just really, really incredible. And to see so many people gathered and then for good. Annie graduated from Ball State Teachers College and returned to her hometown. She won a court battle to become Hammond's first black teacher in 1960. Her life story will now be taught as an inspirational lesson for Hammond students at all of our schools for years to come. More than 60 years ago, Annie was told that Hammond was not ready for a black teacher. Her father told her this wall must come down. Now this sign will come down, replaced with her name on the school. <gasps> I can't believe it. I still don't think it's a dream. It's not really happening, but it's just a dream. But it sure is a good dream. The new sign above the main entrance is already in place. Former students going back to her very first class attended the ceremonies. Mrs. Hicks is a wonderful person. She taught my son. She tutored my daughter. She gave us a lot of wisdom and she also told us how to walk as children. I am feeling proud, very proud, and I'm not really sure that I'm due all of this. History and Hammond says you are due, Annie, perhaps overdue. It's so great that she could be there to, to see that honor. And a documentary about her life called This Wall Must Come Down premieres tonight at the Morton High School in Hammond. Something all of us can be proud of. And just a little bit more about her. Annie is the oldest of 13 siblings. Her father moved the family to Hammond from Mississippi after he witnessed two black boys lynched. That's our history there. Yeah. yeah.